Hi, this is Ed from EK Contracting. I'm doing a quick uh, demo on how to bind the machine down. I just tried this and I accidentally hit the stop record button. Okay, there's six points of tie down on here. A chain across the tracks from side to side is no good. It needs, you need one here, one in the back, and then the same on the other side. That's four. And then you need one chain to come off each side of the bucket once it's up on the up on the trailer. Okay, I use a 20 footer cut in four pieces. That gives me more than enough chain to reach my D-rings. So according to DOT, this machine here needs six tie down points. A chain across the tracks in the front and back and then one across the bucket is no good. That's only three, that's half. So then you get it up on the trailer a 20 ton trailer and you want to have your weight over the back the majority of your weight over the tires on the trailer you don't want the machine all the way up front putting the strain on the truck because then your brakes and everything else will be will have uh, unnecessary wear and tear so you get that on the, and then you swing the bucket around to the back and you tuck it underneath and you put your chains down one on each side of the bucket so six tie down points one off each side and it's a short distance once you get get this machine up on the uh, trailer it's a short distance so I run the chain up and the most of the distance is taken up by the binder so you don't need much you save a little money on chain and a little bit of aggravation and and uh, elbow grease as far as hauling a 20 foot chain around when you only need a couple of feet of it and that's about it so I hope this was informative and I hope it saved somebody's life.